Environment plays a very important role in healthy living and maintaining the balance of life. The existence of life on planet Earth is possible only because of suitable environment we live in. Earth is a home to a variety of living species and microorganisms. Each one of them is dependent on the environment for food, air, water, and all the other needs. Therefore, it is one of the most important resources for each and every individual. That is why it is necessary for every human to protect and save the environment. So let's watch a short role play about the human person and their environment. Hope you will enjoy it. Nature. 
We should always keep our environment protected and clean because it can lead problems in our environment. We should always keep the environmental ethics. If it's a fact, environmental ethics should be always practiced, especially in our young age like us. What you have done earlier have an impact on our environment to destroy the plants, hurt animals, and even throw a garbage is a bad action. And you should apply environmental ethics. Have a moral approach to impact and can be a cause of problems in our environment. Like what you have to do, bad habits in our environment. That's why you should always know how to reflect on your actions regarding in our environment. Always practice environmental ethics so that you will always remind that you as a human is responsible with our actions and how you can affect our surroundings. By the way, have you noticed the summer heat has become almost unbearable? Yes, it's true. My parents were discussing the same phenomenon last night. Do you know the reason behind this climatic and seasonal change? Undoubtedly, these changes are there because of environmental degradation due to deforestation and burning of fossil fuels. Global warming is tangible now. Earlier, we just talked about it and now we have started seeing its effects. If this pollution is not controlled, the future is going to be very grim. Life conditions will become unbearable. What can be done to save our environment? I agree with you. The only solution to this very critical problem is people must participation in saving the environment. Mass forestation, drive, and stopping the use of fossil fuels all together can solve this problem. I hope they will cooperate. Who doesn't want to live? Besides, we must leave a better planet for the coming generations. All that is needed is the proper sensitization of people. I need to be environmentalism, especially our government, to advocate to address the growing environmental problems and to have devoted efforts to discuss environment issues and formulate plans to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions in order to curb global warming and climate change. I want to effort in the race of awareness of issue and inspire action among communities. Let's take a rest and eat. Sean, come here. Okay. Okay, I will prepare the food. Okay? Okay, yes, I will. 
We need to use our resources in such a manner that are conserved and to minimize the usage of our resources came from our environment so that the next generation will be able to use them. As a human person, it is our responsibility to treat with respect not only our fellow humans but also everything in our world. Upholding environmentalism and sustainability will enable us to take the first step in addressing environmental issues and to contribute to solve the greater environmental challenges and for us to know the relationship and the interaction of human and the environment. After watching the video, we we'll learn the importance of the relationship and interaction of human and their environment. To give you more information in this topic, when we say human person, it is a living being that contains a real and existing to direct its own development towards fulfillment. While environment, it is a total of all surrounding of living organisms including natural resources and other living things. There are two frameworks where humans can be related. First is anthropocentrism, where humans are super and central to the universe, thus it is human-centered. It includes human, culture, individualism, mind, calculative, human over or against environment. And lastly is global or technological. And secondly, ecocentrism. It is the ecological or relational integrity of the human provides meaning of our morals and values, and it is nature-centered, devoted to preserving the totality of Earth's biodiversity and the functioning of its life-supporting system. Examples are nature, wild, holism, body, relational, earth or wisdom, and ecology over or against human. To conclude about the two framework about the relationship of human person and their environment, a human person is a creature in the world, a part of the cosmic environment. Man and all things in the environment are equally significant in the world. They are coexistent and the paralysis is any dimension of the cosmic environment may threaten or risk the whole system including man. And their bad action towards it in the environment can cause environmental disorder like pollution which occur in land, water, and air. It affects all forms of life, including the man. Aside from that, human exploitation of the environment leads to the increasing amount of carbon dioxide and other pollution that traps sun's heat in the atmosphere that causes the earth to warm up. It causes global warming. It is an increase in the average temperature of Earth's atmosphere and climate change. It is the buildup of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere significantly changing the normal or expected weather patterns and condition in a specific region of the Earth. To wrap up this video and to give you a moral lesson about the topic in the human person and their environment, as a human person, it is our responsibility to treat with respect not only our fellow human but also everything in the world. Upholding environmentalism and sustainability will enable us to take the first step to environmental issue and contribute to solving the greater environmental problems. We should be responsible with our action regards to the environment. And as a human person, we are the guardians of